everybody so today i'm going to show you one pretty cool emulator for iphone uh, that can actually give you access to playing n64 games so n64 emulator on ios it also supports a lot of other systems like super nintendo and uh, similar stuff and i'm going to show you everything uh, today and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel so this nintendo 64 emulator is called provenance it also it's also super nintendo emulator atari sega many other cool uh, old console systems and uh, we can talk about this today so let's get started so guys let's talk about provenance emulator which is multi-system co console emulators that run for example nintendo gba nintendo 64 super nintendo sega atari and many other uh, platforms so provenance emulator on iphone is my favorite one because you can have all these games on one place you don't have to use like 10 emulators different emulators for every single uh, old retro console systems and you have all of this here in the settings you can adjust a tons of uh, things so it's really uh, detailed made and you can uh, do a lot of stuff here to get your best experience that you would like to get from uh, one emulator so i have a couple of games here you can download them easily and import here with uh, choosing this plus button and then local files and i'm gonna run for example this nintendo 64 game mario kart so you can use it as a nintendo 64 emulator and you can see here that it works smoothly you can play mario kart on your uh, on your iphone you can use it both uh, vertically and horizontally this one is maybe specifically for uh, for vertically so uh, if you want to quit you press on this pause button and then go quit you can also run uh, this game for example which is GBA 1 uh, it will run perfectly well and you can play old games and enjoy in Pokemon experience here with a uh, provenance emulator on iOS and iPhone so as you can see you can use it uh, right here and uh, it looks like there's some kind of bug right now which is uh, turning off my uh, game if i switch it vertically so horizontally i'm sorry so i'm gonna just run it again to see if this is some uh maybe if it, this is some temporary thing or uh maybe it needs to be updated but it, if it's uh, something uh, about bug it's gonna be probably updated in a next couple of days so don't worry usually everything uh, works smoothly and if there is some bugs you can uh, it will be updated pretty uh, soon and pretty shortly so i'm gonna run again a pokemon game to see if it actually works vertically right now if it works horizontally so let me uh, uh, let's wait to load the game to see if it's actually a bug or it needs to be uh, loaded to the uh, some starting point so I don't know it maybe maybe it's because i'm recording the screen or something like that but it looks like right now it's not working working horizontally but you can run all of these games and play and uh, i'm sure this is just a temporary thing because i use provenance emulator multiple times and it always worked both horizontally and vertically so maybe it's a little little bug so it will be updated in the next days so don't worry about it and if you want to try this provenance emulator uh, it works on uh, here let me show you I'm running the newest iOS 16.6 .6 version on iPhone it works on all uh, basically all versions I didn't test it out really on really old phones but it should be fine and if you want to try it you can go to this website right here on the, any web browser I'm using Safari you can use any other one and if you scroll down a little bit you can find it right here or you can use the search bar to find it uh, easier so you just type here provenance and it's gonna pop up press on it and all you have to do is to press on proceed button and then follow everything until you install it successfully so i hope this was helpful i hope you have learned something if you did leave a like and subscribe and i hope to see you in the next one bye guys